booting into recovery now there is no advanced restart button in this derp fest os if you want to see this video you can check out here or the previous video itself i will give in description also it's very good rom let's go to recovery in order to go that let's power up first it's getting shut down wait okay after that press the volume up button and power button both the buttons continuously you'll get poco logo you can remove this finger i mean the power button you'll get again a haptic feedback then you can remove the volume up button also and use this recovery the latest one twrp go to wipe and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catcher data swipe here to wipe it later come back to install and select the storage where you downloaded the files i am using sd card here okay they have mentioned always for arrow os they are mentioning like flash eea firmware the latest one i already have it as you can see surya eea global version 12.5.4 flash the same firmware hence they are mentioned use the same firmware and again back here and again go to install and select the rom zip file here arrow is tol surya there are okay this is the latest one so you can see february saturday february 5th build this is the latest available build for poco x3 arrow is i'll discuss what all the change logs and some of the problems in previous versions like many people complaining about bluetooth bluetooth earphones is there any issue in this rom fixed or not everything will be explained in this video stay tuned until the end of the video as you can see rom zip file has been flashed wipe and select format data and type here yes and select this tick mark done now again go to reboot and system as you can see booted into arrow is the latest version with february 5th build let's see in this video what all the bugs features and change logs everything will be explained in this video stay tuned till the end of the video let's begin this video hey welcome back to sampath's fx channel and this is arrow is version 12 g apps and latest build for poco x3 or nfc surya karna whatever you call and 5th january 2022 security patch only as and received at the february security patch and the kernel used here is 4.14.262 arrow kernel has been used and this is the latest build date with 5th february and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes you can check out here the maximum is 152 and average is 140 and minimum is 103 and it is throttled to 87% of its maximum performance and let's see the dialer here you get this kind of dialer there is a direct video call feature is available let's see call recording there is a call recording feature but it will show you other persons will notify that it's recording that kind of call recording it is and i already made a video on this rom the previous build there are there are some bug fixes i will explain about those now added new battery icon styles let me go into settings and go into battery here here as you can see they have added battery icon style into the battery style you get plenty of options here big circle circles icon portrait you can change here as you can see those options have been included with this update i mean this rom and also they have added force small clock on lock screen let's go into display settings here you get that and into that lock screen you need to go here as you can see there is the option called for small clock don't switch to the big clock when there are no notifications if you enable this you will get that small lock clock whenever you don't have any notifications in the lock screen that has been fixed now and one of one more added is like invert navigation bar layout you can see here into system gestures 
and into that system navigation if you press three button navigation as you can see earlier this back button was here i guess so hence they have changed here and into the gesture settings you get similar settings there is no option to increase the gesture bar if they can add that in the upcoming build it would be better in my opinion anyhow and there more options has been added added battery light let me show you again into the battery as you can see battery charging light has been added here battery light if you enable this you will get it out and added monet engine also this will be in display settings as you can see monet engine you can use custom color from here increase the brightness scale also and use accurate shades you can increase the colorfulness from here you can see on the screen here and some fixes and changes for bluetooth and if anyone had a problem i tested with this bluetooth earphones and also this jbl wired earphones there is no problem regarding both using on this poco x after this arrow os version 12 based on and at all this is split t slightly and this is with 5th february latest build and colors you get boosted and those all the things have been added and misc fixes and upstream changes those are the source change logs you can see here and i'll show you the benchmark results in this room you get 3,47,409 this is a very good score for poco x and battery life everything is fine i already made a video if you want to see in detail means you can check out here i will give you the card the older version and in this version let's see safety net status also get, get passed as you can see you can use all the payment applications and whatsapp all are working fine no problem regarding that also and coming to geekbench scores here okay i already run that let me go into history and show you as you can see single score is 540 and 1544 is the multi score and the kernel used here is linux 4.14.202 arrow kernel has been used here and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button guys in order to get a similar kind of videos allow that bell notification press all notifications such that whenever i upload a video you will get a notification of my video and if you like the video give it a like and want to share this kind of videos please share with among the users who have poco x and your friends and let's see the drm info you will get level 1 certification no problem regarding that also and you get google go camera if you want you can use any gcam ports that's how it is and we'll go into settings and see here and this are the quick settings panel you get simple enough and you will get advanced restart button here as you can see you can directly boot into recovery from this room and there are bunch of roms has been received do comment down below guys have a os 4.13 and some kosp rom or like that do comment down if you really need any of the rom recent launches i will be covering in my channel and that's all i think i explained everything in this video regarding change logs and bug fixes and battery charging animation let me show you and charging speeds are normal now summer is going on you will get good battery life but charging time will be delayed but definitely you will going to get good battery life in summers and this is how the rom as you can see this is the ROS latest version for poco x okay i forget to show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quick enough to unlock there is no face unlock or anything like that if they add it in arrow ways that could be very good and this is how if you like the video give it a like and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now